Hi everyone. I just wanted to say a bit about the uh, Bag of Joy gig at Dingwalls on Friday 22nd of September that I'm doing with um, Phil Gould, James Nisbet and Andrew Roachford and David and Carrie Grant and Phil Saatchi and The Egg and uh, Errol Kennedy and a load of guest stars. Um, so it's a concert for Cuba. It's for the people of Cuba. Boo, who's organized the concert, you know, she went there and she saw how people just didn't have essentials. And uh, so that's her plan is to, with this fundraising money, she's going to get basic stuff like, you know, toothbrushes and toothpaste and things that people cannot get or cannot get easily or cannot get unless they spend a lot of money. Um, you know, things that we just all take for granted. And my interest in Cuba is because I went to Havana in 1998. Um, I was lucky enough to go on a course to study Cuban popular music and dance, you know, which was just fantastic. I was at the International School of the Arts for two weeks, studying with really knowledgeable teachers. You know, I had Puppy from uh, Los Van Van as my piano teacher, which was fantastic. We all had to learn percussion. We all had to learn to dance because you can't play Cuban music or learn Cuban music unless you can dance it. And it was just an amazing, richly rewarding two weeks. Uh, I mean, I came back and I wrote uh, a tune called El Rincón Cubano on the Conversations with Silence album, inspired by that visit. You know, uh, Cuba's got such a rich musical uh, legacy and, you know, it influenced so many things. I mean, I learned about some about the history of Cuban music um, and, you know, that it was influenced by all these things and then in turn influenced other countries, you know, like uh, Cuban music went to America and influenced jazz and then jazz came back and influenced Cuban music and it went to Mexico and, uh, you know, the you know the origins are, at, are from Africa and from France and uh, from Spain. It is so rich. And one thing I learned uh, uh, while I was out there was that there are more natural musicians per head of population than any country almost any country in the world so many people you know have a facility to to play or to sing music to a high degree and you know i found people there were, were very well informed highly educated you know there's a whole political situation which i'm not going to go into um suffice to say that you know cuba chose to go its own way the year of my birth 1959 and um you know, and now it's 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 really really struggling. So this is really for the people. It's not about the politics. It's about the people and just giving them some basic essentials, which I say we all take for granted. So that's why I'm doing the gig, as well as to you know celebrate the Cuban people, the music of Cuba, and to play with my old mate Phil and to play some of his stuff and some of my stuff and uh, you know maybe a couple of level tunes and uh, you know enjoy the other artist so if you want to come along to a, a you know a unique night i think it will be at dingwalls on friday the 22nd of september uh, please do It'd be great to see you there okay thanks very much <laughs>